another bounty. Let me get you out of there. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp. That... Uh, a, a, a camp? Yeah, where? Yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, Don't worry, fellas. I'll be back later. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. Fix this. That should do it. Got it.
Great to marauders, yeah, yeah. Go kill each other. I got a use for you. Hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp and... I know. <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but... Didn't have a choice. See, Boozer... Boozer was gonna die, and, uh... Well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but... Like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um... He lost the arm anyway, and, and now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini martyr. No, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game the boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know? You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe Schizo's telling the truth. I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. <laughs>